Hey everyone, I'm gonna do another spring look and this time I'm gonna be targeting those of you who have monolids or hooded lids, meaning it's a single lid, you don't have, you know, these prominent folds in your lid, it's just one single lid. This look would look great on anyone, honestly. You don't have to have monolids or hooded lids to wear it. I myself really like this type of technique um, just because it helps create a lot of depth right here, right above the lashes and that just kind of lifts the eye for my eye shape even and for anyone who really wants to create that depth in your eyes. So you don't have to have monolids to wear this look but I wanted to do a focus on you guys since I know it's been a while. So as you can probably already tell, I do have some face makeup on, very little. I have some highlighting concealer, a face powder, and a little bit of bronzer and that's it. So now we're gonna go right into the eye primer. This is just my Urban Decay one that I always use. It's great if you have oily lids or if you live in a hot climate, you want to apply this so that your makeup lasts even longer. So I'm just going to apply that above and underneath and just smooth that out. I'm going to grab an eyeliner pencil now. You can use a black one or a colored one. This is a Mally one in Royal Plum. We're going to go for a purple look, but you can definitely go for any color you want. You can even go for a neutral. So what I'm going to start off doing is applying this across the lid. If you have monolids, you definitely want to apply this up until you can actually see it. When you look forward, you can actually see the color. I know, obviously, I don't have monolids, but just so you get an idea, I'm going to apply this thicker than I normally would. And I'm going to take this synthetic pencil brush and smudge out the edges. You could always go back and deepen. So far, it should look something like this after you've taken the time to just smudge out the edges. Now I'm going to take my blending brush and I'm going to go into this matte purple shade from this Revlon quad right here. I'm going to apply it all across the lid. And it doesn't have to be anything too bright or too pigmented, but you're going to notice that it's already really softening up this look. And you're going to notice that natural gradient effect. It looks really, really good. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my black liner or whatever color you want. It should be darker though than the color, that first color you laid down. So I'm just gonna apply this thinly across my lash line because I don't have monolids, but if you do, you are welcome to apply this thick enough so that when you look forward, you can kind of see it. And normally I would do the wing, but I'm not going to this time for a change. I'm just going to let it softly taper like that. I'm going to take my pencil brush again from earlier and go into the deeper purple right here. And then I'm just going to go along the outer corner area and then just bring it up a little. This is going to help bring some more shape and definition on the outer corner if you so wish. You don't have to do this. I generally like it. So I'm just kind of blending a little bit of dark right there. I'm going to do the same with this eye. Just line it across the outer corner and then start blending it kind of upwards like that. I'm just going to go back with the blending brush and then just apply over everything and soften everything up. Okay, so I just did some few finishing touches. I just went into this pink shade right here and I just applied it right on top in the inner corner just to kind of brighten this area up some and also soften it, just illuminate it. It has some sparkle to it as you can probably tell. And then I went into this lighter pink shade right here since we don't really have much shimmer on our eyes. I just went on underneath the brow and then also right in the inner corner here just to highlight that as well. And then I took a blue liner because I find that it brightens up my eyes and I just kind of wedged that in between my lower lashes. Just really, really softly, just like that. So, so far, that's what it looks like. Now I'm just gonna curl my lashes and of course apply some mascara and I'll be right back. So 
So we're just about done with the look. I already have a little bit of bronzer, but I'm just gonna apply a bit more just so you can see how I did it. I just literally applied it like, sort of like I would apply blush, except I'm also lightly contouring as I do it. You could apply a little bit up here too, which is what I did. And then down the neck. And I'm gonna skip the blush just because I feel like I really like this look with just the bronzer. Of course, last but not least, the lips. I'm just gonna apply this neutral colored lip gloss. This is NYX's lip gloss in natural. And there's the completed look. Here is a closer look at the eyes. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful in any way. If you have monolids or you wanna just create some extra depth in your eyes or you just wanna do a different type of gradient effect, try it out. Let me know how it works out for you. I hope you enjoyed watching. See you again next time. Bye guys.